Last rider out into the section tonight. First out will be the wildcard, Gabriel Marseille. There they are from top to bottom. Tony Bow leads the championship on 22 points. Adam Ragger second on 15. Third in the championship, Matteo Grazzarola, 12 points to his name. Then it's Jaime Busto, fourth in the standings on a nine. Benoit Bincaz of France, six points, fifth place in the championship for him. Then it's Toby Martin, sixth place in the standings on four. And Sondre Hager in seventh position in the standings on two. The first rider out into the sections tonight will be Gabriel Marseille, making his first appearance of 2021. And that's what leaves him in the unfavourable starting position. It's unfavourable, of course because the other riders set to line up after him have the advantage of watching a rider of the capacity and capability of Gabriel Marseille tackling these sections. Big night this for Marseille, who makes his debut for the Repsol Honda team. He's only ever ridden Montessa machinery in the Extra World Championship. This is his first season in a factory outfit, replaces Takisa Fujinami after uh, his retirement. So Fuji now, of course, the team manager, replacing Mikel Serrera with the uh, Repsol Honda team in 2026. Gabriel Marseille then about to embark on section one. Remember, the riders have five sections to complete, and they have five minutes in which to do it. Mark being observed by Moreno Piazza on the arena floor. Full visibility from ground level of these sections. Section number one is the trucks. Fairly sizable step at the start of this one. And once that's complete, it's a technical challenge. The riders have to touch all of the uh, trunks on their way to the exit gate here. Laid out across the arena floor. Gabriel Marseille then. Dressed in colours uh, identical, of course, to Tony Bow. The two are now teammates. Very much the master and the apprentice. And Marseille has been rising up through the uh, Montessa ranks throughout. First step, well done. His assistant telling him that he's perfectly positioned early. Now the technical element of this first section. He then twists for Marseille, done on the back wheel well. He overbalances slightly, had to catch it with the front wheel, and down he goes. A five mark score for Gabriel Marseille, and a frustrating start for him because it looked as though he had it under control after the initial strong first step. Mid section turn catches him out, the front wheel slips away from him, and now. Caution being urged by Marseille's minder. As he moves on to section two with a failure already to his name. Big step with which to open here. And a fair old ramp for the riders to make it up. Potential to drop a mark for leaning. And Marseille has. Straight onto the sub there. Resting the bike on the section is a drop mark for Marseille. Another step still to come, and then that's the biggest step of all. And a twist in mid-air at the end of the section. So here's the ramp, and then a left turn for Marseille to make the exit gate. Five mark score in section one. Gets it stopped, making the turn for Hornet on the module itself and doing well to avoid dropping any marks for leaning whilst balancing the bike precariously. But he slipped and slid as he saved the bike from going out of the section. He certainly dropped a mark for leaning. The left foot's down as well, so that moves him onto three. Any further drop marks and it will be a failure. Moreno Piazza watching on carefully. It's not going well at all at the moment for Gabriel Marseille. He's down and out of the section. It's a five. Two failures in a row for Gabriel Marseille. Tough start to the night for the Spaniard. Only a wild card, remember, this evening. He's also set for Extra Madrid in eight days' time. He could well feature in that subsequent rounds as well. So he needs the best possible result here if he's to figure in the championship pecking order. Certainly on the evidence of uh, best past appearances, there's no reason why he can't. See up and running now in section three, looking to get through a section for the first time so far tonight. Two fiascos in the opening. Two. Rock section has caught it on the sub there awkwardly. For a moment, teetered backwards, but it's just a single mark. He stays in the section and he can proceed. Getting plenty of encouragement from the crowd here in Chalon sur Seine. Nicely worked. One more step to go in the exit gates. 
and Marseille completes the section for the first time here this evening. 11 marks from three. Hardly an inspiring start. Time now to try and pull something back. Just under two minutes for the two remaining sections. Gabriel Marseille, big step to open us with. Does that very nicely and without dropping a mark for leaning. Almost rode up the side of that uh, square. Next step brings him to the halfway mark in this section, number four. Left foot goes down, that's a drop mark for footing. Marseille on his Repsol Honda debut, remember. 11 marks from the opening three sections. Got to keep his score as low as possible, knowing that there are still seven riders to come. He's got to beat two of them if he wants to make it through to the second round of competition. And as I said, that was a landing on the sub. There it is. Mark for leaning given. So he's already had one for footing, one for leaning. He's got one more to play with if he wants to get through this section. Number four. Step with risk to finish. He landed it on the sump for me there. That could well have been a, a failure because the right foot, I thought, went down as well. But Moreno Piazza has given it as a completed section. He moves on to 14 from four. Well, at a first glance, it looks as though he may have caught the sump on that uh, final step, and the foot certainly was uh, errant. And there's going to be a, a mark for footing right on the very first step of this section five as well. Will this be the last time we see Marseille this evening? Depends on the riders who will follow him, of course, but it hasn't been an inspiring run thus far. 14 marks from four sections. He's got less than 30 seconds now. And if he doesn't get through in that time, remember, it will be another failure. He's already had two. This would be a third. Marseille then pushed for time. Big effort he needs in the closing stages. 15 seconds now on the clock. Still got to get over the final two cotton reels of this section number five. A foot left foot down. Scrappy at this stage, rushing on time. Tries to bridge the front wheel. Down he goes. Left foot is down. He's still in the section, but he's out of time. And it is a failure in section five for Gabriel Marseille. A 19 mark total for five sections. Three failures. Get through section three, which will be something of a consolation. Section four going away from him with three marks dropped, and he was fortunate not to fail there as well. Not a strong lap at all for Gabriel Marseille. Muy mal, yo. Las zonas no son tan difíciles. Yo, muy nervioso. Voilà, il est très nervieux. Les zones ne sont pas très difficiles. Gabriel Marseille just explaining that the sections weren't necessarily too difficult, but he was too nervous, and it showed there, honestly. Scrappy first section, he'd done the hard work with the turn. Mike just slipping away from him on the trunks and down he went for a five there. Section two, similar frustration in the closing stages of the second section from Marseille. Ultimately, it's 19 marks from five. And that's the target total now for Sondre Hager. Seventh at Extra Nice. His best result in three Extra appearances. One failed section more than Toby Martin separated him from progressing to the second round two weeks ago. He's never yet moved through from the preliminary stages. If he can beat Gabriel Marseille's 19 mark score, it'll give him half a chance. Before the event, we would have fancied the fight was between Hager and Martin for the uh, basement positions, with all due respect. Although Toby Martin had a really strong effort last time out in Nice. But Marseille has put the cat among the pigeons because only 19 marks from five, for, uh, sorry, a 19 mark score from five sections. It's not a good lookout for him. And he may well find himself eliminated after his opening run. This is where Gabriel Marseille fell to a five, remember. Hager's got through it, single drop mark there. Twist to the left, and then the exit gate of section one. Sondre Hager. Looking to make it through this section that uh, Gabriel Marseille failed just five or so minutes ago, and he's done it. Hager then with a single drop mark in section one. Strong start for him. And that underlines what I was saying about Marseille looking to be in real danger here of elimination at the very earliest stage. Section two. This too was failed by Marseille. Oh, Sandre Hager makes it through this one. And could be uh, guaranteeing a place above Marseille as, as early as the third section tonight. Single drop mark there for uh, leaning. Overbalances there, Hager. And to save himself from falling face first onto the ground, he jumps out of the section and down to a five. 
overbalanced there. Couldn't get the, uh, the back wheel back up in the front where he needed it to be to, to make the bridge across to the next uh, island of modules, and down he goes. Next two sections were completed successfully by Gabriel Marseille. If Haga wants to remain above him in the standings, he could do with getting through the pair of them as well. Section number three. And on six marks, Marseille at this stage was on ten. Nice point. Section three reached by Haga. Moment of near silence descends here in the Colosseum. Well, Haga makes his descent, and he does so successfully, to great applause. Two more islands to go. Rock, Gabions. Cages of, of rocks here for Sandre Hager, and he's through in section three. Strong performance from him. And a first clean of the night for any rider. Six marks then for Sandre Hager. And that means that even if he were to fail the next two, he would still beat Gabriel Marseille. Marseille in real trouble here. And Sandre Hager with a chance to make it through out of the preliminary run for the first time. Into section three then for Sandre Hager. Seventh, remember, at the opening round, Extra Nice, last time out. Guaranteed at least seventh place here tonight. And beating Gabriel Marseille is a real scalp for Hager. Marseille not aided by being the first rider out into the sections this evening. Sandre Hager, halfway mark in section four. It's been elegant riding so far from him. The first ever Norwegian in the Extra World Championship. That's going to be a mark for leaning. That's confirmed now by the uh, section observer, Moreno Piazza. One final step in the exit gate now. We're going to have avoiding errors for Hager, knowing that there's six more riders to come. He's beaten Marseille, he's got to beat at least one more to make it through. Thought there might be another mark there uh, late on in the section, but again, perhaps it's uh, just the edge of the, the tyre that the riders are catching there. From the visual, it looked like it might be another mark, but uh, Hager escapes seven marks now from four sections. This has got to go down as one of, if not the best performances that Sandre Hager's put in in the extra trial yet. It's only his fourth appearance, remember. Curse of the commentator, to five marks score in section five, he finishes on 12. But that is a strong effort nonetheless from Sandre Hager. Remember that uh, in the case of a tie break, it will go to time, so it might not be quite the disaster that it first appears, Hager failing early in that uh, section number five. He just looks up at the board. Bit more slippery than expected in the floor, but I'm happy. Public amazing. It is a very slippery surface here on the arena floor. It's the same kind of surface that's used actually in the uh, spectator areas as well. And just walking up to your commentary position here, it is uh, it's pretty slippery. So uh, that's something we're going to have to watch, particularly later on when we get to the grand final and riders are, are having to make a turn on the arena floor. Up on the sections themselves, of course, it's uh, a variety of different materials that the riders are tackling. So our current standing, Sandre Hager, on 12 marks, Gabriel Marseille on 19. And of course, if Toby Martin beats both of them, he will be through to tonight's second round. Martin, one of the stars of Extra Nice last time out, made it through to the second round for the first time in his career, really took the fight to the more experienced Benoit Bincaz and Jaime Busto. So although he was sixth, that only tells uh, half the story because he was only two marks away from fourth. His previous best results have been eighth place finishes. Section one for Toby Martin, failed by Gabriel Marseille. Sandre Hager took a single dab. Can Martin become the first rider through click? Nice little hop there onto the back wheel. One final bridge. Turn to the left in the exit gate for Toby Martin, looking to become the first rider clean through section one. Urged on now, now by the crowd, beautiful riding from Toby Martin. What a strong start that is. And again, I emphasize the scores from the opening run from each rider will be carried over into the second phase of competition tonight. So it's not just about beating Marseille and Hager here for Toby Martin, it's also about keeping that score as low as possible 
to try and be in contention later on in the night. Single drop mark there for Leaning at the highest point of this section two. This section failed by both of the riders so far, Marcy and Hager. Hager got into difficulties here. Martin's bridged nicely. Marseille failed later on in the section. Good work there on the back wheel to avoid dropping another mark for leaning. Now, how about this twist and turn? This is where Marseille slipped out of the side of the section. Can Martin do it on the back wheel here? Makes the twist. He's got to land it carefully. He's looking across to the exit gate. Eyes on the prize for Toby Martin. And he's done it! Brilliant effort from Martin, it's a single drop mark, he's the first rider through section two. Hager was on six marks at this stage, Marseille on ten. Toby Martin looking brilliant. Raising his uh, right hand, so there must be a mechanical problem here, and it looks as though uh, Toby Martin raised his hand to the referee, David Rogers, for a timeout. You can see the time ticking down. So the time has been paused here by the FIM referee David Rogers. Toby Martin has the option of changing onto the spare machine. He's got two minutes with the, uh, the clock paused, and then he's got to get back out there. Now the riders watching on. This is an unusual circumstance. We've seen it once or twice in the new era since uh, 2018 of riders uh, competing a completing a whole lap with uh, one section after the other. Martin with a little bit of work to do here. 21-year-old with his uh, minder, Alex Wig, assisting him in the sections tonight. And once he gets back out there, the timer can start again. Unusual sight, as I say, but uh, we do want to see the best possible performance, and riding with a damaged machine, of course, was an option for Toby Martin. So a single drop mark from two sections thus far. Three sections remain. 12 marks for Sandre Hager's score. So if Tony Martin uh, puts in a good performance over the next two sections, he will be able to confirm his place in the second round. Of... Into section three then at last for Toby Martin. Timeout stops. And the countdown begins again. Just under three minutes remaining for three sections, so all good in terms of uh, time for Toby Martin. Yes. Well, got to keep a calm, cool head now after what was a uh, complicated situation for him. He made the right call if he wasn't happy with the bike. Mark dropped there for footing. Remember, this section has been uh, completed by both of the riders so far, and Toby Martin's not going to be an exception. Probably a mark more than he wanted to drop there. But it's been a strong run for him so far. Two marks dropped in three sections. He can now move on to section three. Only two fiascos now have a risk of denying Toby Martin a guaranteed place in round two. If he gets through either of the remaining two, he will be through. For a second consecutive extra. And up against the likes of Gabriel Marseille, that's no mean feat. Also a decent effort by Sondre Hassan. Judgment there on the uh, on the landing, landed on the sub, single mark for leaning. It's three marks now for this lap. As I say, if Toby Martin manages to get through section four, he will be through to the second round tonight. He's taking his time here. Another mark for Lee. Toby Martin. It's the step that I'd said previously posed a couple of riders' problems. Just forces himself forward there in the closing stage of the section four. And Toby Martin is the first rider to book his place in the second round of competition in Shallow Sur Sun tonight. Two marks in section four, doubles his score. He's on four now. And the focus from here is on putting in the best possible result in this section five and giving himself a shot and a place in tonight's grand final. Section five, the Cottonry is failed by both Gabriel Marseille and Sandre Hager, and it's failed on the very first step by Toby Martin. It's a nine-mark score to finish with for Martin. And again, he's through to the second phase of competition for the second round in a row. Only his sixth appearance in the Extra World Championship.
Well, he is through to the second round. And we'll see what those uh, good things might be later on tonight. Toby Martin then, nine marks. Sondre Hager, 12. And Gabriel Marcia on 19. They're the men in the danger zone. And I have to say, it looks very precarious indeed for Gabriel Marcia. And no one in this arena would have predicted Marcia, the uh, reigning world number four, of course, to potentially come home at the back of the pile in the opening round of competition tonight. Well, that big round of applause can mean only one thing. The next man out is Bonobin Kaz. Fifth on his Gas Gas debut a fortnight ago. Really should have been fourth. Made a costly mistake in the penultimate section of the second round. He was six marks up at the time on Jaime Busto. And as a result, ultimately dropped behind the Basque rider, which means he will go out into the sections before him tonight. Single drop mark there for leaning on the uh, only upright trunk of this section one. See, you can see the uh, tyres just moving around the surface of those trunks, discarding some of the bark from them as well. Toby Martin has cleaned through this section. He is the uh, current leader on nine. 12 marks that uh, Benoit Binkaz must beat if he's to make it through to the second round. Single mark drop there. Twist and turn at the end of the section to come for Benoit Binkaz. Nice piece of work, and he's through. Single drop mark in section one then. Doesn't reveal too much, I wouldn't suggest just yet. Andre Hagen was able to manage the same as single down. Into section two. Now, this one will be the critical one for Bing Kaz. Marseille and Hagger, the two men in the drop zone at present, both five this one. Bing Kaz is going to take a mark. That's for leaning first crest. That did also catch out to challenge, at very least, Toby Martin previously. That's going to be another. Now it's all about being careful of, on the twist and turn to the exit here because Kaz won't want to leave himself in danger of elimination, that's for sure. Gonna get this right. A step, a turn, and an exit gate to come for Bunob in Kaz. Has he taken another mark for leaning? No, he's still on the two. And moves him on to three in total. Will he get this descent right? No, he won't. And that is a failure for Benoit Binkaz. He landed on the sub. Legs are Kimbo as well. And that underlines what a great effort that was from Toby Martin. Even if Benoit Binkaz does go through as well, Martin and Binkaz will be competitors in the second run. And at the moment, Binkaz is five marks where, behind where Toby Martin was at the same stage. Only a single failure for, for uh, Martin as well. That was in section five. On with the action. Section three now for Bruno Binkaz, who sits on six. Only three marks now ahead of Toby Martin, but more importantly, perhaps, six marks ahead of Sondre Hager. Oh, he's down! Down in section three, the first rider to fail it. And is now on the same total as Gabriel Marseille was at the same stage. And with just one mark to play with ahead of Sondre Hager. And things have turned around quite dramatically and not in a good way for Bruno Binkaz. 11 marks from three, two sections to go, two minutes on the clock. And he's going to have to get through the challenging section five that nobody's managed so far. Being cast in under pressure. Man who took something of a knocked his knee in the uh, Halle Nikaya last time out, thankfully showed no further in effects. Which trial needs to remember his first deck trial back in over two years. Broken elbow and hand in 2020, back injury in 2021, and those have hampered him in recent years. That's a single drop mark there for Benoit Binkaz. That means any further drop marks in the remainder of this run for Binkaz, and Sondre Hager will move above him, and that is a drop mark for leaning. Binkaz now on to 13. Hager is through to the second round of competition for the first time in his extra career, and Benoit Binkaz drops into the elimination zone. Two marks for Vincaz, 13 his score. The revised pecking order then, Toby Martin 9, Sondre Hager 12, Benoit Vincaz 13. And well he might sigh as he looks up at the scoreboard. He needs a collapse from Busto, Gratarola, Ragger or Bo still to come. In round number one, few saw this coming. 
and it is a five on the very first step of section five. It's an 18 mark score for Benoit Vincaz, six behind Sondre Hager, scrappy in sections two and three from the Frenchman, and he is now staring elimination in the face. And that is not what this crowd came to see tonight, that's for sure. Standings then, Toby Martin nine, Sondre Hager 12 progresses through to the second round for the first time. Well, that sounded like a, a goodbye there from Bunwa Binkaz to the crowd tonight. He said uh, far, far too many mistakes from him. Half of what he was saying was frankly drowned out by the applause. He was urged on by the crowd, but it came to nothing. Toby Martin, nine, Sondre Hager, 12. As I was saying, Hager goes through to the uh, second round for the first time. Bunwa Binkaz, 18, and Gabriel Marseille, 19, in the drop zone at the moment. Well, they do say anything can happen in sport, don't they? Two riders with a great deal of experience, both of whom have been on extra podiums before, find themselves within the throes of elimination here. Jaime Busto next up. Surely we won't see a similar collapse from Busto. It was pretty disappointing in Nice. Uh, two failures out of five from each of his first two runs. Salvage fourth and uh, was a full 11 marks back from the top three. Good start though. In section one, second rider through it clean. As I said, uh, in extra need, so probably the one rider who's lost out most in the new scoring format. Penalties added together across the opening two rounds of the night, and Busto has had a tendency towards inconsistency. Precarious on the first step of section two. Is he going to try and force the bike up here? He is, but he's going to come back down, and it's a five in section two for Jaime Busto. I wonder whether Busto might have been better served dropping back down to the ground and having a second go at that step. He would have had to make sure that the uh, axle of the front wheel stayed in the section so as to avoid a, uh, a fiasco for uh, exiting the course limits. But I don't think he was ever going to make it up that ramp as he was positioned halfway up it. Section three then, Busto on five. Binkaz was on six at the same stage. This, you would have said, was a fairly straightforward section. And it was completed successfully by Marseille, Haga and Martin. Well, that's a drop mark for Busto, and it's going to be two, I think. One for footing and one for leaning. Or it, well, I really think it should be. Section Observer's only given one. For my money, Busto had landed on the sump and used the foot straggling around as well. Only one mark given, though. That could be a get-out-of-jail-free card here for Jaime Busto. Final effort. That was clean enough. So a single mark, Busto moves on to six. Two sections remaining. And that means that uh, he is through to the second round tonight. Even two five mark scores would leave him on 16. Still enough to beat Vincaz and Marseille. Into section four then for Jaime Busto. He's rushed his way through so far. He's going to have the best possible time to have a real crack at section five. He might need to, just to get on terms with Toby Martin. That's going to be a mark for the leaning there. Busto short on the landing. Try and avoid a mark for leaning on this uh, next crest. You can see the, the line of it. Oh, he takes a slightly different line through there. Busto decides to drop down before riding up the side of the ramp. And he does so nicely. The riders have tried to leap most of that. Final step to come for Jaime Busto in the penultimate section of round one for the Basque rider. He's up, misjudges the landing, one for footing and, and one for leaning, I would have said, but uh, again, well, Busto, to me, has got on pretty lightly over the last couple of sections, because I really thought he'd uh, taken one for leaning and, and used his foot as well, but either way, eight marks with one section remaining for Busto. Love to see some of these uh, back. There's a couple of marginal calls that have been made in this opening round. Straight down to a five, like other riders before him in that section five. 13, then, is Jaime Busto's score. Toby Martin leads the pecking order on nine. Three marks ahead of Sondre Hager, who not only has qualified through to the second round, he's beaten Jaime Busto, Bruno Abincaz, and Gabriel Marseille in his first run. What a performance that is from Hager. 
see some of these rides again. That's the trunk section from Busto, section one. Right foot going down there. This is the, uh, the failure in section two, one of only two fiascos for him. Section three there, seeing Busto making it through with just a single mark. 13 marks then the score. The leaderboard now, Martin nine, Hager 12, Busto 13, Vincaz 18, and Marseille 19. Still Benoit Vincaz and Gabriel Marseille in the drop zone. Matteo Grattarola next up. Third at extra on East Grattarola. Came closer than anyone, remember, to taking a point off Tony Bo in the uh, opening round last time out. Matched Bo's opening run and only lost out on uh, top spot in that round one through a tie break on time. Let's see how he gets on in round one here tonight. All of the sections barring section five have been successfully completed by at least one rider. Only sections one and three so far have been cleaned, though, by anyone. Grattarola in line to become the third rider to clean this first section in his first run of the night. Grattarola is through, and it is a clean in section one. So far, so good. 18 marks the score to beat if he wants to assure his safe passage through to the second round this evening. He'll also have an eye on the scores of the likes of Toby Martin, thinking further ahead to trying to snag back-to-back -back podiums. That's a scrappy start in section two from Grattarola, although what I will say is four riders have failed this one, which uh, is as much a reason to give credit to Toby Martin as it is to uh, offer some surprise about the way things have panned out in this opening round thus far. Grattarola bridges to the third of our modular islands here in uh, section two up on the back wheel. One final twist and turn in this second section for him. So Grattaro. Up he goes. He's going to land it on the sub. Drop mark. Still trying to turn his way out of this section, Matteo Grattarola. to balance himself carefully because the exit has not been easy for any of the riders so far and it's not for Matteo Grattarola either. His first failure of the run. Five marks from two sections. What a performance from Toby Martin, the only rider so far to have got through that tricky technical section two. Into section three for Matteo Grattarola. This was five by Benoit Bincaz. If Grattarola gets through it, he should be safe and sound. 18 was the score that Bincaz finished on, remember. Marks or better, and Grattarola is through. Down he goes! Matteo Grattarola down to a fiasco in section three, only the second rider to fail there. He moves on to Zen, and Toby Martin is still leading round number one. Grattarola, 10 marks from three sections, two sections to go. He's got to concentrate now. Big Cas finished on 18 just to get through to the second round. Grattarola needs to avoid a failure in this one, section four. Back to back fiascos for him. Vincaz suffered the same fate, dropped two marks then in this section four. Grattarola is one mark ahead of where Vincaz was at this same stage. Real surprise though to see Grattarola go down in section three in particular, after what was a brilliant performance from him in Nice. That's going to be a mark for leaning. He's allowed to shuffle across there on the sub without taking another mark. Twist now to the final module. And that's going to be a mark for leaning as well. But it is only a mark for leaning. So it's two for Grattarola. He's on to 12, and that means he's safely through to tonight's second round. Not a convincing performance in sections two or three, but even a five mark score in section five would still see him above Benoit Bincaz. Bincaz and Marseille surely are going out for an early shower. Let's see how Matteo Grattarola gets on in section five, takes a different route. And he's sidetracked. He's sidetracked that uh, top cotton reel. Is he going to get away with that? I'm not sure that the riders were told they had to touch it. And Grattarola's just ridden around it. 
Chicané, le passage par la gauche. Oh, the crowd enjoying this. Grattarola is up, section number five. And Matteo Grattarola, well, he's caught them all by surprise. Everyone was trying to go up the hardest route on that first step, but Grattarola's just sidestepped it. He's going to take a mark for leaning there. This could bring Matteo Grattarola back into tonight's extra. No, make no mistake, that's another drop mark, I would say. For uh, leaning once again. And the marks are adding up now. It'd be a shame if he didn't get out, and he's not going to get out. It's a five. Oh, what a shame. A great ride from Matteo Grattarola to scrabble his way through section five. But if you accrue more than three marks, of course, it is a fiasco. And it was a mark for leaning on the very final cotton reel. And Grattarola now has shown both Raga and Bo the way to tackle that opening step that was so difficult for the... Uh, the five riders before him. Well, that was the talking point of the uh, entire run there from Matteo Grattarola. Why bother going up the hard way when you can sidetrack the biggest step of them all? They had to be careful, of course, not to slide off the edge of the section, and full credit to him for finding an alternative line. So look at the pecking order now with only two riders remaining. Toby Martin leads us in round number one on nine. Sondre Hager sits second on 12. Who would have seen that coming? Jaime Busto third on 13. Then it is Matteo Grattarola only fourth on 17. Benoit Bincas and Gabriel Marseille 18 and 19 marks respectively in the drop zone. Matteo Grattarola, if he wants to make it through to tonight's grand final, has got eight marks to find on Toby Martin in the second round. If Martin keeps a cool head, in his second run, he could well be on the podium tonight. Adam Raga, section number one. What a brilliant uh, extra full of surprises it's been so far. Reigning world number two here, Adam Raga. And let's have a return to something of normality, please. Adam Raga crosses the exit gate in section number one. Fourth rider clean through there. Now this section two has only been completed by one rider so far. That was Toby Martin. The other five riders, Marseille, Haga, Binkas, Busto and Grattarola have all fived it. No rider yet has been clean. Still no rider has been clean because Adam Raga rests it there on the sump. A single drop mark for leaning. Work there from Rack. Now surely it's about the final turn of the section. Has caught out some of the riders. Rago pressing on on the back wheel, taking his time so far. This is where so many riders have been unable to get the bike turned and landed onto what is a very narrow strip to the exit. Technical challenge, mid-air turn, and a perfect landing required for Adam Rago. And he too has misjudged the landing, and he's out of the section for a five. Tried to scrabble his way back onto the module, but once the back tyre slips onto the ground, of course, it is out of the section, it's exceeding course boundaries, and that's a five mark score. That brilliant performance from Toby Martin in section two could be propelling himself into contention for a place in tonight's grand final. Section three now for Adam Ragger. Martin was on just a single drop mark at this stage. Finished the lap on nine. Ragger at present is on five. Nice work on the landing. Couple of riders struggling there, but Kaz and Grattarola both getting it wrong. Matteo Grattarola was fortunate that he'd uh, clean section one and saved face somewhat. Second rider to be clean through section three is Adam Ragger, and that's enough for him now to book his place in tonight's second round. That means that Gabriel Marseille is definitely eliminated. And as long as Tony Bow doesn't uh, really mess up his run, but Robin Kaz will be eliminated as well. Section four now for Adam Raga. No rider yet has failed this one. No rider yet, though, has been clean through it either. Adam 
Raga continues on, still clean in this section four. If he can remain clean here, he just needs to get through section five to move provisionally top of the round one standings. Remember, there is a world championship point for the rider who finishes top in each round of competition. Beautiful work from Raga there. But he's had to take a uh, dab of his left foot. Now, is he going to have the power and the height to get himself across? He's got himself into a tricky situation, and Raga's down for a five. And Toby Martin still leads extra Chalon sur Cern. Raga on to ten, then, with one section remaining. He's safe as far as entering the second round is concerned. He's dropped to second in the seeding order. And if he fails this one as well, that will move him on to 15 behind Hager and Buston. So a real surprise as Draga becomes the first rider to fail section number four. Didn't see that coming. Last section of the run for Adam Raga. That's a mark drop for leaning. Now this is where it all started to go wrong for Matteo Grattarola because he got caught on the next cotton reel and he was dropping marks left, right and centre. Carefully here. But any further drop marks for leaning for Adam Raga. He's made the step. Adam Raga becomes the first rider successfully through section five. And that could yet be an important result in the context of his night overall. Single drop mark in section five. He finishes his run on 11. Toby Martin still leads extra Chalon sur son on nine. Adam Raga second on 11. Sondre Hager third on 12. Brilliant performance, just one away from Raga. Busto 13, Gratarola 17. He's going to find it really difficult to make uh, tonight's grand final and make it back to back podiums. Because of Marseille looking like the two riders who will be eliminated. I think Adam Ragger just explaining there uh, his failure in section four. Sounded like he was just trying to get through it without taking a mark for leaning. And, and as a result, he's got the landing wrong on the other side of that dress, slips further forward than he wants, takes a mark for footing and can't uh, get out of the jail. Has to go down for a five, but makes up for it, I would suggest, with that uh, single dab in section five. Toby Martin must be watching on with a smile on his face at the moment. Just see him over to the uh, right-hand side of our commentary position, watching the other riders as they make their way through. Over then to Tony Bow. Looking to beat nine marks in order to take a world championship point from the opening run of competition here tonight. Tony Bow. This section ready cleaned by four riders. Be cleaned as well by Tony Bow. I'm really looking forward to seeing what Bow will do in section two. But only Toby Martin has been able to conquer so far. So far, so good for Bow. In section one. For consecutive rider to clean that one. Toby Martin also managed it. Section two has been more challenging for the majority of riders. Only Toby Martin has made it through this one thus far. How about Tony Bow? Single mark for leaning. His first drop mark of the run. Now it's all about this final turn. How will Tony Bow tackle it? Every rider, barring Toby Martin, has either been caught out before this point or by this final turn. The crowd, desperate to see it done. Tony Bow then. Trying to twist his way out. Tony Bow too has gone down for a five mark score. I think he was ready to argue that he wasn't out of the section, caught, wasn't out of the course limits. But that argument was not going to carry weight against Bruno Piazza, the section observer, and Tony Bow has dropped down to a failure in section two, and Tony Martin is the only rider to make it through that section. Section three then for Tony Bow. Four marks to play with. He's got to get through all of the remaining sections if he wants to beat Toby Martin. Section three. Martin could well take the first World Championship point of the night, and that would be a surprise. Also the fight to make it through to tonight's grand final, of course. 
Up goes Tony Bow, and through to the exit gate of section three. No mistake there. Scrappy errors from Vincaz and Gratarola in that section, but otherwise it's been straightforward for the majority of riders. Nobody yet has been cleaned through section four. This could be where Bow makes his difference. Got to get through both of the two remaining sections, remember, Bow. If he fails either of them, Toby Martin wins a world championship point, tops the seeds to the second round. That's a drop mark for leaning for Bo. Stops it on the side. Now, the question is, how does he tackle this next landing? Can he go down? Yes, he will. Up on the back wheel, superbly done from Tony Bo. And he's perfect on the landing the other side. A single drop mark, he's on six. Well, if he drops three marks in this final section, then he will match Toby Martin on nine marks. If he can perform better than that, of course, then he will be top seed and take a world championship point. He move on to 23 for the season so far. If he fails, Toby Martin will top the seeds from round one. Decision called upon now for Bo. The six riders through this section all failed it. Matteo Grattarola, though, showed them the way. Raga followed him. Up goes Bo. Beautifully done. Tony Bo. Looking to become the first rider to clean section five. He'd also confirm his place as top seed through to the second round of extra shallow sur son one minute still on the clock tony bow looks to have done it tony bow wins the opening round oh he's down and and that's given us a five mark score which will give toby martin victory in the opening round bow is suggesting that he got the front the uh, axle of the front wheel out of the section before leaving the exit gate Moreno Piazza has given it as a five. Bo protesting his case now to both Moreno Piazza and David Rogers, the FIM referee. The crowd not happy with that, and neither is Tony Bo. Waiting to see if that's given us a five mark score. Bo waves to the crowd. They enjoyed what they saw there. Carlos Bernetta, we see in the replay, urging on his man. That's where it started to go away from Tony Bo. Seventh rider out of eight to fail section two. Looked to have done some great work in the final section. Let's watch this replay. Well, the debate will rage on. At first glance, I would have said that the axle of the front tire was safe out of the exit gate before Tony Bow went down. But Moreno Piazza will disagree. And that means that it's Toby Martin who wins the opening round of competition tonight and goes through as top seed to the second round. He takes a world championship point in so doing. Martin, Bo, Raga, Haga. Big surprise, first time in his career he qualifies through to the second round. Jaime Musto and Matteo Grattarola will see them all again after the interval in the second round of competition. And those scores will carry over. The two riders eliminated. Benoit Bincaz takes just seventh position at his home round tonight. And Gabriel Marseille in a first wildcard appearance of the campaign. He too is 